Well, hello, everybody. This is the uh, the very first AAA Solar Supplies Solar Thermal Show. And today uh, we are going to talk about differential controllers for uh, solar hot water systems as well as solar space heating systems, otherwise known as air collectors. Um, the, uh, the differential controller that we're going to talk about today is called the Gold Line GL30. This is what it looks like. Very simple, reliable, uh, great piece of equipment, and a staple for any solar thermal system. Um, the uh, There are just three lights on it that tell you whether it's working or not. There's no digital readout to get confused by. Um, it's just very simple and the installation of it is very easy. <clears throat> if you open up the GL30, you'll find a circuit board in there that looks a lot like this. Now, you've got your, your three lights down here. Um, the first light tells you whether you have power to the, to the controller. Second light tells you whether your pump or your blower is running or uh, in the case of a radiant system, a three-way motorized valve. And the third one is the ice protection, the freeze protection light. Um, in order to wire one of these is very simple. Um, and it comes in two ways. It comes with a, uh, uh, a controller that can be hardwired in, or you can get the controller that has a pigtail attached and you just plug that pigtail into a regular 120 volt outlet and then the uh, your pump can either be plugged into uh, the uh, the GL30 that has the pigtail or you can hardwire it in um, this specific uh, circuit board came out of a GL30 that uh, that would be hardwired and your terminals for your power to the GL30 would be here and your terminals for the pump would be right here um, down here you'll see some more terminals and the top one will say tank the middle the top two will be for the the tank sensor the middle two will be for the storage sensor and the bottom one is an auxiliary it's not very often that you use the auxiliary uh, but it is there um, if you're doing a domestic hot water system, then you will use the, the top two posts will be wired to your sensor that is at the storage tank. Um, and you want to put that sensor towards the bottom of the tank so that it's sensing the coldest temperature in the tank as opposed to the warmest. Uh, the middle two are going to be for your collectors and that's going to be the sensor that is up on the output of your collector array on the roof and when this uh, controller senses a temperature differential that will be set with these two knobs the pump will either turn on or off um, appropriately and these two knobs are your uh, settings for your uh, your temperature differential you have a high limit which is depending on your climate is usually set around 200 and then you have your turn on which I usually keep around 12 and I'm in the Albuquerque area so that works uh, works great for us and then over here you will find the on off switch it has three settings you've got on which will constantly keep the pump running or you've got auto which uh, is what where you want that uh, that switch to be set when you have this installed and you have a system up and running and then the bottom one of course is off which will uh, turn the uh, the controller off completely anyway um, now if you're doing a radiant floor system then your um, your top two posts are going to go to a sensor that is attached to the return line on your radiant floor loop and the, the middle two are going to be attached to a sensor that is on the incoming pipe from the array um, that will sense the, uh, the incoming uh, heating fluid temperature. Uh, if you're using this 
for a um, an air collector or a solar space heating system, you're going to have a diode that is going to go across the top two posts that are labeled tank. And then you would have one line from your collector going to the third post and then going to um, to uh, the wire, the other wire from your uh, your collector sensor will be tied with a wire nut to one line of your uh, solar thermostat. And then out of the fourth post, you'll go straight from there to your th solar thermostat. And this can be used to turn on and off a, uh, a solar air collector or solar space heating system. Anyway, um, that's the Gold Line GL30 for today, and uh, I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at AAA Solar. Uh, that you can find us on the web at www.aaasolar.com. That's a a a a solar.com, or you can email me at Stephen at aaasolar.co, uh, and Stephen is spelled S T E P H E N. You can also give us a call at 505-243-4900. Uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you've learned something, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.